So what are some lessons we can learn from Jay Leno on The Tonight Show as interviewers? This is tip number 30 of 101 tips for interviewers and interrogators. Welcome back to 101 Tips for Interviewers and Interrogators. Uh, this is tip number 30. I'm your host, Stan Walters, The Lie Guy. So what are the lessons we can learn from Jay Leno? Actually, there's three things we can learn from his style and how he ran his show on Tonight Show. First of all, every interview, Leno had to make it his best. Now, it's very interesting. If you not know the story, Leno didn't greet his guests in the green room. Now, that's because he was not a bad host or he was uh, unsocial or anything like that. But he, what he learned, that you only get one shot at one good interview. Because he said what would happen, the best comments, the best interviews were lost in the green room. You could not recreate those again when you got back on stage. So here's a lesson we can learn from that. As an interviewer, if you think you can conduct one interview, then say, well, I'll come back later and I'll talk to him again or I'll interview her again about so-and-so or I'll ask more information. You will not get that same value of that moment back again. You cannot recreate that. So every interview has got to be your best and you've got to do everything you can to make that one the most information rich dialogue that you can have. So if you decide, well, you know, I'll come back, think of the things that could happen. Your victims and witnesses can be contaminated by somebody else, so you'll lose the accuracy of their statements. They may change their attitude and not want to talk to you again. Your subjects may not want to talk again. They may lawyer up on you. They, I've had stories of subjects who've even taken their own lives in between time of that first interview. So make that very first one your best one. Now, the second thing that we can learn from Leno, Listen to them do an interview. If you go back and look at some of them, and let's use Brad Pitt for a moment. He was interviewing Brad Pitt about the movie Troy. Leno didn't use short questions for the interview. He didn't say, did it, was it fun making Troy? Yeah. Did you do all your stunts? Yeah, oh, yeah, I did my stunts. Understood you got hurt. Did you get hurt? Yes. How'd you get hurt? Hurt my ankle. No. Leno used open-ended questions that let the subject, let his guest tell more of the story, a narrative-based information gathering interview, because that person has the information, not Leno. And his job was to elicit the entertainment, elicit the information from them. Understood you did your own stunts. Was it fun? What was your favorite stunt? Understood you got hurt. Tell us what happened when you got hurt. See the difference? Third thing being alert for Leno. What was the show about? Was it about Leno? No, Leno did his dialogue and got the audience warmed up, but he got them warmed up for the guests. Leno always made his show about the guests. Your interviews should be about the subject you're interviewing, not you, not winning, not getting one over on the subject, not being able to go out and high five because you won. What is about is the subject and the information you glean from them. So make it about them. So think about three things you can learn from the style of Jay Leno and watch what happens to quality of interviews. Now, before we leave, again, let me ask you again, please sign up uh, on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, connect with me there, please subscribe. Also, there's other resources that are available. Send it, pass this along, you wanna subscribe over here to the left, the, the YouTube subscribe button so you can see the rest of the series. Also look at my text, Principles of Kinesic Interview Interrogation. This text has gone worldwide, it's in lots of academies, it's being used by military and law enforcement, being used for uh, anti-terrorist operation training. Uh, good, solid text for what you're looking for. Look at the on-demand courses. If you want to just take about an hour, and a couple of three-hour courses in there, and focus on one specific topic area. On your own time, your own speed, and once you've signed up, you can always go back. You won't ever lose the opportunity to go back and review the, the, uh, uh, the program, the training program. You'll get the benefit of that. And don't forget the pocket guy, which is a great helper for you in the interview room. It's a quick cliff notes type of operation. So be sure to let me hear some comments below. I'd love to hear back from everyone. I'm getting, starting to get some feedback. And be sure to pass the video on to others. Good to see you. Please be safe. We'll see you next time for tip number 31.